Uh, David, um, there was, there seemed to be um, a consensus, uh, I think, amongst MEPs in the chamber, um, a lot of scepticism about this EU-Turkey deal. What, what do you make of yes, that? Yes, um, I, I think it's very worrying that we're doing a deal with Turkey, given its closeness, unfortunately, with some very, uh, uh, with terrorism in general. So I, I'm afraid um, this, won't, this won't wash. And uh, the, Leah touched quite rightly on that deal. Um, it's illegal, according to the United Nations, which is not a good start when the UN is saying this is an illegal deal. Uh, and also, what does it mean? We, Germany has lost 130,000 asylum seekers already. Uh, and where have they gone? They could be in Ireland, they could be in the UK. Where have they actually got to? It is an incredibly worrying situation. We've got to uh, sort the border control out. Mm. I'll start with you on this one, um, David. What was wrong? You're, you're a member of the Conservative Party, yeah. but you're not happy with David Cameron's deal. Uh, why not? No. I'm afraid I, I think it's feeble and irrelevant. I've said that publicly. Um, it doesn't address what, what we were looking for as fundamental change in our relationship with the EU. If it could be done through renegotiation, then fair enough. But I'm afraid this means that Brexit's the only way we're going to drive, uh, uh, as I say, that fundamental change in our relationship. The British people are just not happy, uh, quite rightly, with what's going on in the EU. Uh, they're worried about uh, economic control, democratic control, and border control is the big one now. What's, what was wrong with David Cameron's deal specifically? What was it that wasn't enough? Well, it's not legally enforceable. I mean, you know, it's not a treaty change. Therefore, you know, there's some real legal doubt about it for a start. The European Parliament here has to decide whether the migrant aspect of it uh, goes through or not. We could vote to remain and then find that the Parliament votes it down. It doesn't address the real concerns that British people have over being controlled by this superstate. We don't want to be part of a superstate. We want to run our own country.